If you are going through the IVF journey, one term you'll often hear is embryo grading. Many patients ask, do these grades really predict IVF success? It's an important question, and today, I'm going to explain how embryo grading works and what it means for your chances of success. Embryo grading is a system used by embryologists to assess the quality of embryos based on their appearance under a microscope. The most commonly used grading system is the Gardner scale, which evaluates embryos at the blastocyst stage on day 5 or sex after fertilization. Embryos are given a grade with a combination of numbers and letters. The number represents the degree of expansion of the blastocyst, ranging from 1 to 6. The first letter assesses the inner cell mass, ICM, which becomes the baby, and the second letter evaluates the trophectoderm, TE, which becomes the placenta. Higher grades, like 4AA or 5A, are considered good quality embryos. Now, while it's true that higher grade embryos have better implantation and pregnancy rates, grading is not a guarantee of success. It's important to remember that embryo grading is just one part of the picture. Factors like the genetic health of the embryo, the quality of the eggs, the uterine environment, and even the timing of the embryo transfer all play crucial roles in the success of the IVF cycle. Embryos with a higher number of cells, minimal fragmentation, and symmetrical cell division are usually considered better quality. But that doesn't mean that lower-grade embryos can't lead to a successful pregnancy. In fact, many patients have had successful IVF outcomes with embryos that were initially graded as lower quality. At Malpani Infertility Clinic, we follow single embryo transfer, set, as the standard procedure. While many people believe that transferring multiple embryos boosts the chances of pregnancy, the reality is quite different. Research has shown that transferring more than one embryo does not significantly improve the overall pregnancy rate. What it does increase is the risk of multiple pregnancies, such as twins, triplets, or even higher order multiples, which pose serious health risks for both the mother and the babies. Remember, embryo grading is just one piece of the puzzle. Success in IVF depends on various factors, and a lower-grade embryo doesn't mean failure. It's about the overall picture. Stay informed, stay hopeful, and trust in the process. If you have more questions about IVF, feel free to reach out. We're here to support you every step of the way.